Okay, in this short video, we're going to look at, we've looked at bisecting line in another video. In this video, we're going to look at how we bisect an angle. And this is a little bit more, more complicated, but let's see if we can follow the steps. So we've got our angle, and we open up our compasses to a reasonable length of the two lines we've got there. And we'll see what happens here. So from the angle, from the point where the two lines meet, we're going to strike an arc that meets the first line and also makes a mark on the second line. So each of the points we've made, I'm going to mark them one here and two here because we're going to use those in a moment. So you've got points one and points two. Let's get that under there so we can see. Right, without changing your compasses, what I would then do is go to point one and from point one strike an arc in somewhere where you think the middle of the angle is going to be. So because we end up with two crossing lines. So I'm going to mark that third line as line three. That's the third step. We're then going to move up to point two and from there strike another arc forming a nice little cross. So here that was line four and the final step with our ruler is to draw a line from the angle through to the cross and I'm going to mark that in a nice dark line so you can see that and this angle is now bisected, it's cut in two exactly. Let's just run that through that again. So the first step is to draw an arc onto this line, then one onto the, the other line, so that's step, step two, and then from each of these points draw arcs out into the, the sort of space in the middle of the angle and then join up. So the fifth, fifth thing is to draw a line through the angle, which we must do. I thought I'd continue by just showing this works also for an obtuse angle. So we open up our compasses to a reasonable distance, so a reasonable length of this line, and then I strike an arc, like I did before, on this line, and continue it around and mark it on the other line. So those points are both the same distance from the angle. So let's mark those as step one and step two. Right, from point one down here, I'm going to repeat the idea with the other angle, I'm going to strike an arc up here somewhere, not quite sure how long that needs to be, go move across to point two and form a little cross. So this would have been line step three and this line here step four. The final bit is to join up from the angle through the cross. So let's get our ruler and our pen and draw a line accurately through the cross and that is step five. So we've got now got this part of the angle will be the same size as that part of the angle. So we've bisected the angle. So numbering those steps, we've got step one, step two, step three, four, and five. 